you know, 2020 has been a, a screwed up year. COVID kind of has killed the whole business. So yeah. we'll start with uh, Ray. We'll start with you. Like, kind of what have you noticed this year? Because first of all, we've all been on social media for at least a year, correct? If not right. longer. Right. Yep. So, so we have a premise of before COVID and 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 during COVID to kind of have a uh, a comparison. Right. All right. So, Ray, what have you noticed? Uh, I would say the biggest the biggest change within the last eight months to a year, especially especially when COVID hit hard with the quarantines, is the increase in overnight musicians. I guess you would call them. Like people who had never played an instrument in their life, like are all of a sudden, you know, posting every type of video they could possibly think of, whether it be guitar, drums, um, singing, just which is probably stuff they've wanted to do. But that's that's probably the biggest impact that I've seen since COVID hit. Go back to how's that impacting the the uh, the pool of talent out there now that all of a sudden. You see, you know, there's, there's thousands well, of players out in the market. Well, I, I think social I think that, media. Yeah, I think that I think that definitely like there's always been a solid presence of um, female drummers in in drumming. Like, I mean, there's always been like really good players, and it just you either had to look for them or you just had to pay attention. And if you're a drummer and you care about drumming, you'll know who they are. I just feel now that there's a lot more female players and I feel like that's a really good thing. Um, I feel like it's progressing the game like immensely, especially the ones who are actually taking it seriously. Like we all know, we've all watched videos. We've all seen those videos and we're like, this, 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 this isn't right. Like this is, this is weird. So I, f I feel like, like, like those, those other players though are kind of getting a little drowned from those the, the stuff that's just like the gimmick garbage that's kind of floating around social media right now if you i mean ray what do you think um i mean i'm in the same boat i feel like with with an oversaturated market you lose quality content and end up more with how how can people notice me like what 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 can i do to be the most noticed most viewed most attention getting person and again, in, in that sense, it sacrifices the purity of, of the drums. You know, yeah. when I get on, I want to watch people who enjoy playing and play well or are improving, to, you know, their, their skill, their skill set. Um, instead of watching somebody like light drums on fire, you know, or their sticks so that people are like, oh, my God, his sticks are on fire. But he's playing like crap. Like, I don't, who cares? Like, I would rather you have, like, sticks that are not on fire and you're playing a super awesome groove that I can really enjoy. So how do you think that's adversely affecting, you know, because some of this stuff is being driven by what the audience wants, right? I mean, if you're, oh. if you're on TikTok, for example, and your average age is 14 and below, and you're on Instagram, and let's just say it's from 30 and, and down, your yeah. audience inevitably will dictate what they want to see so the sure. question would be then is is it you know these people that are hamming it up or playing it up for the audience is it really their fault or they're just doing what they got to do to get ahead of the to get a little bit of edge on the competition and where does it end ray you want to you want to address that first well i the problem is i don't i don't think there is an end um <laughs> I think at some point we're going to have to find a balance um, of, you know, attention and, and quality or it, it's, it's going to destroy the market as a whole. Um, it's going to, it's going to make the, the people who do this for a living or are, are truly passionate about it um, and trying to grow, it's going to make them give up. Um, yeah. It's going to discourage them. Um, they're just gonna be like, you know, man, I worked really hard on this three minute cover and I uploaded it and they got like, you know, six views and it sounded really good and I did a great job. And then, you know, Joe Blow over here puts, you know, paint on his drums and has some cool lights and just plays like a 30 second video and gets like 1.6 million views. Well, you're gonna be like, well, dude, I spent like three weeks working on this cover and nobody watched it. 
and the, like everybody watched him and he didn't even really play anything. So yeah. it's going to discourage people essentially in the long run. So it's got to balance. It's just got to balance out. What, what do you think, Steve? Uh, I kind of feel this. Well, I mean, again, people are always going to do what gets the most attention, what the audience wants, if that's your personality. You, you got plenty of people out there that play just for the passion of playing the instrument. They just love the instrument. And I would say the majority of us out there that are doing it, that's the reason we do it. But you're also going to have the small minority that are going to want the attention and they don't care what they have to do to get it. Yep. And what are the repercussions of those actions? I mean, so we, we Ray mentioned, you know, the, you know, we call him the paint guy, right? Guy that pay, pours paint. By the way, that guy, and I don't even know his name, but I can tell you this, he, he's, he was a pretty damn good drummer before he was doing those gimmicks. I mean, he's yeah. a solid drummer. Great. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then you have, you know, you have some of the, the things that we're seeing on on the other side of the way people are dressing and, and the, the, the flair that they're trying to create. And again, they're doing whatever they think they need to do to get an advantage over the next person's video that's coming up. Right. To, to catch them. It's almost like a thumbnail for YouTube. Yeah. You as catchy as you can to try to get the person to watch it. And that's how they grow. But when does it end? I mean, so today it's, you know, I'm going to, you know, pour paint on my drums. And the next guy says, well, if he pour paint on his drums, then I'm going to light my sticks on fire. Next guy says, well, he lit his sticks on fire. I'm going to light my house on fire and try to play my drums as I'm getting. I mean, you know, where does it end? And then what's that taking away from the, the real people that are practicing the, the art and, 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 and practicing to advance drumming as a community and and or showing passion and groove and technical technical facility without being just a chop monster you know people are yeah kind of, and, 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 and people that are trying to motivate and trying to inspire and trying to educate those people in my opinion they, they get they get they get squashed down in the overall you know entertain me uh, social media market that seems to be what's going on right now. So you got these great people that go on and say, I'm going to do this to help or to inspire or motivate. And they can't get any traction. Like Ray said earlier, and actually you did too. These people start saying, why am I doing it? I can't compete. That's yeah. how I look at it. I mean, I mean, I, oh boy. Like it's just, it's just a giant can of worms. Like, honestly, like it, it never ends because you're right. Like, like, when does it end? W where does it stop? Why does it always have to be that next extreme? Why can't it just, why can't it just be about creativity? Like it's, it's so discouraging as a drummer to like, just watch a dude just do chops for 20 minutes and then go, well, and just throw your sticks in the air and go, well, what, how the hell am I ever going to do that? You know what I mean? Because if that's all it's ever going to be, or if it's always just going to be about image or look, then it's then then like like what does that say to anybody who wants to play an instrument? It, says it shouldn't be about that. It should be about it like tells, the fact that, tells me I'm out. If it's yeah. about looks, I'll never be able to compete on the look scale. <laughs> so I, mean, <laughs> I might as well go pick up a bass guitar or something and see if I can make it on the bass guitar platforms. I I can't compete on look scale either. I'm out. <laughs> you know it, what what it really challenges. Dude, it's making well-known drummers compete against each other. I, Travis Barker, Matt McGuire. I've seen them all pull tricks out of their ass to get back in the loop of, of, of being seen. And that's because they're great drummers just off of pure talent. And, and the fact that they've worked hard to build the reputation they have and, and again, they can they can chop, they can groove, but they're getting buried by everybody who's strictly focused on chops. Like, look at you know the hundred fifty chops I can put in this thirty five second clip. Like that's awesome, yeah. but can you go play a gig for thirty five minutes consistently without messing up <laughs> and, and no not chops playing it full of chops? Open? Yeah, play play to the music. Nobody plays the chops. Don't play to the music. A little bitty snippet of chops, I get cool. 
always fits in very nicely. But nobody at a at a at a bar when you're playing Fleetwood Mac or something wants to hear John. <laughs> Want to hear you and that Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to put me to sleep about that song. <laughs> Good rock. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I guess you know, as I said earlier, I mean, listen, there they went from a pool of, and I'm just throwing numbers. And let's just say there was ten thousand drummers on social media during COVID. That number may have doubled. Even yeah. quadruple because people they had nothing to do. They're home. Right. So they figured, you know what, I got a camera and I'm on social media and they started making their own videos. So that that pool doubled overnight. And and, and at the end of the day, you got twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand people competing for attention. You know, th- I guess I understand I understand it. My question really is though is what's the next thing gonna be that has to top what this person's doing, the top that person. If you remember years ago, years ago, Cooper Drummer, you know Cooper Drummer? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. The big deal was he played a song, he lit a sticks on fire for like 30 seconds in his garage or whatever, and then it was out. That's all he did. Like that was like, ooh, my God, he lit a sticks on fire. Vinnie Paul did that with Pantera like way before that anyway. <laughs> well, I got, I got <laughs> stuff on my toes, bro. You know, it's a Sorry. Canadian thing, isn't it? 